All right. Here I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Okay. And this is the uh, my version of the Ed Marlowe uh, Casanova card trick. So I'm going to. This is a full video. I'm going to show the effect, and then I'm going to teach you with script and everything and my version of it. So you've all heard of. Uh, you've all seen the movies Clark Gable, Brad Pitt. Tom Cruise, and you might have thought they were hot, hot stuff on the screen about getting women. Well, I'm going to show you I'm a great lover, and I'm going to prove it with a pack of cards. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is have a card selected. So, I'll have someone go ahead and say stop as I ritual through the pack. Say stop. Okay, stop me right here. Okay? Stop me right here. Jack of Hearts. Now, the, the cards represent the world. And this is two continents. As you can see, there's no uh, no women in sight here. Okay. So what I'll do here is I'll divide the continents up. Okay. I'll separate them just like that. So I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. Rubber sleeves. And there we found two uh, brunettes. Two brunettes. Okay. Now, show uh, the card here. We have here a six. And watch very carefully. Just give it a shake. It turns into a nine show there's nothing here and nothing here okay now watch we have them stab it in anywhere they want you can stab it into the pack right there now uh, I, uh, I have a few uh, Broken cards, I mean broken hearts to add to the collection. Here's where uh, Darren Don Juan Casanova Martino goes to work. Have you cut the pack? And uh, you can cut it wherever you want, have them cut the deck. And you show right here we got a five of spades and a seven of clubs. You just blow on the cards. And there we have a blonde and a redhead. Have the blonde or the redhead, but you know what they say about redheads. So here's the effect. This is a rough draft. I have many ways to do this. I'm going to show you right now. Explain it. It's inspired from my mentor's mentor book, Deck Deception by Ed Marlowe. And uh, this is a great book. There's a lot of great effects in here. I'm going to be explaining a lot of different things. Um, this is in the public domain. Uh, first trick of the book. It's called the Casanova card trick. And when I was reading this, I, I realized there's such, so much great magic, not only that Marlowe has, but it's scripted. I mean, it's, uh, it's a very powerful effect. And it, it occurred to me that this possibly could be the effect that inspired uh, Earl Nelson's sleeve aces. I don't know, but it's the same type of thing. Um, I could be right or wrong on that, but the idea is um, it's one of the strongest effects of magic. This is a great opener. Um, I love this effect. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some scripting. Uh, so you start off and you say, you've probably heard of, uh, and he says Clark Gable, Tyrone Power, and Robert Taylor, and he says just update it. So you say, you know, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, et cetera, et cetera. You say, you know, um, you probably saw them, saw them in films and thought they were hot stuff when it comes to getting their women. Well, I'm a great lover too, and you will just gather around. I will prove it with a pack of cards. That's the first script. Then he says, the pack will represent the world. I will have you cut it into two continents, but I use the stop force. So we're going to go over the stack here. And then uh, the pattern he goes, now you will see Edward Don Juan Casanova, Rasputin Marlowe. So I would say, uh, now you would see Darren Don Juan Casanova Martino go to work. And then he says, I must find new girls to conquer again, uh, to go to work and in my power here, I have uh, a 
blonde and a redhead. And the red queens are represented that, and these are the brunettes. So uh, a little bit more of the pattern. You can refer to the book if you want the pattern. You can change it up a little. Um, he says, um, I've made a couple of brunettes. Aren't they lovely? But alas, I have grown tired of them. And in the true heel fashion, I cast them aside, adding a couple more broken cards. I mean, hearts to my collection. Really cute pattern. So here's a setup. Okay, here's a setup. You're going to have uh, two red queens face to face. You're going to have, uh, you're going to create a double, impromptu double backer out of uh, two cards that are back to back. So using the face deck principle and uh, uh, cards back to back. So you have the two red queens. Uh, Two cards that are back to back, just use like soft spots, like seven or eight. Then you have uh, two black queens face to face, followed by um, an X card face down, and followed by, I put the six of spades. Now, uh, when I did it, it's going to be a little bit different because uh, I'm going to show you uh, what to do here. So, on top, you have the nine. What you're going to do is you can do some false cuts and false shuffles as you wish not disturbing your stack okay so your stack is beyond bottom here let's go over the stack again two queens face to face followed by two uh x cards back to back followed by two black queens face to face followed by one card face down and then the six of spades here on top is a nine of hearts the reason why the six of spades and nine of hearts because you're going to see me with the color change sequence that I added. Okay, so you start off, you do your false cuts and false shuffles. Okay, you're then going to do a slip, uh, a slip cut holding a pinky break underneath it. And what this will do, this is a, a stop force from uh, Alan Ackerman, Shundi. So when they say stop, you riffle with your thumb, you're holding the break. When they say stop, uh, what you're going to do is you stop exactly where they say stop. So this is very convincing. You stop exactly where. If they want to keep going, you can keep going. Now, you stop exactly where they want to stop. And then when you throw, you actually throw from the break. Okay? So this is something you can practice here. Okay? You, you riffle. You have them say stop. It's legitimate. You stop. And you throw from the break. Okay? So that's a wonderful, just in itself, force that you can use. Okay? Then you would show you have a nine. Okay? Nine of hearts. Then you turn this over, this packet being careful not to let the cards spread. And you get a six. So it's kind of uh, suggestive you have a 69 here. This is kind of a gross trip. You switch the packets. You're going to pinky count one, two, three. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to thumb count over on this one. If you have the packet on the left, you would pinky count, right? But you switch the packets as you're just uh, tapping them together. Now, as you're squaring them, you're going to drop three cards very uh, subtly with your right thumb. One, two, three. That will get the face-to-face -face queen position, right? Because you just shown the two cards here, the two X cards. Now you're going to say, um, I don't wear my heart on my sleeve, and you're going to rub your sleeve. And what you do here is um, you're going to do on the up and up kind of switch. With your thumb, you're going to drop here, okay? that will do is bring the queens into play so it's kind of like the sleeve aces actually you know where you say I don't wear my heart on my sleeve and you say you follow the pattern okay from deck deception and you'll get to two, two burnettes here okay and the nice part about this is it's very clean whereas in sleeve aces you have to you have to uh, hide one card this one you can show it's very very clean so if you're producing the queens to go into a queen's assembly or a queen's routine, this is a very nice routine. Okay, next move. You're going to put the right-hand packet on top of the left-hand packet, like so. And you're going to turn over the deck, and you're going to uh, give it some twists like this. Or you can make it like they're, they're dialing a phone number or however you want to do in the pattern. And you say, there's one card. Now, what you do is you have the nine right underneath it. You're going to half or that just underneath one. And I'll show you why. Because what you're going to do is uh, you're going to show this card is seven. 
and then you're going to make like a, a cam move here as you reverse. This is turning, so you're going to pull with these fingers back. As you point to here, and show, see there's nothing here. Now you've just reversed it here. You'll see why, because I'm going to go into uh, my friend Jack Carpenter, uh, his impulse change. So your thumb is going to drop one card. This is done with your right hand over here. The nine is here. You're going to drop riffle it off so that your middle finger can pull this up. So this card will be about just halfway uh, face up underneath the six because what you're going to do is you're going to do the impulse change. So these two fingers, your thumb and first finger, are going to push this over to the side. Okay, well that will do is bring the nine so that it's a uh, fulcrum point on the pinky right here, right? And then as you shake, your first finger is going to bring this card in. So that's a visual change. As you say, I want you to take the card, the six, oh, or that is the nine, you hand that to them. Now, at this point, you're going to show uh, nothing here, right? As in no six here. It's actually here reversed. You're going to do, uh, you're going to push this forward. You're going to do like a cam move again. This is to uh, reposition it. It's to, un to unreverse it, right? To reverse it back the right way. As you point over here and show, is an eight. Now when you put this back on top, you actually have the six and you're going to uh, get a break so that you have a break on it, okay, which you maintain with your pinky. You're going to riffle the cards. When you riffle your thumb, you're going to riffle past the break. You're going to have them stab that in anywhere they want past the break. Now you're going to do an elevator move as you're going to move this to position, right? So we'll go over that. Uh, look, refer to the video Swindle Slice, and it's the same move pretty much. It's a little bit of a different move. In that you're going to uh, have the break here. You have your middle finger here. You have the middle grip. And your first finger is here. You're just going to move the cards up a few cards using the elevation move, right? So that will be like that, and that is done as you square the deck and you fan it. You then come over and you, you say you could have stabbed it in anywhere, completely fair. You take the card right next to it. You turn that over. Now, what you could do if you wanted to is you can go into two card money or any kind of favorite thing here and then change this in the queens in their hand. That's one idea that um, I will use with it. But for this, what I'm going to do is you still have your setup on bottom. Okay. You have uh, card face down, face up, and then the queens faced. So, what you're going to do is you're going to have them uh, up the deck and you'll be following the pattern. You say the deck represents the world, the two continents, and then uh, you turn over. Okay, and now on this one, what you're going to do is, uh, it's good if you get like, uh, like, like, uh, you know, eight or nines or soft spots or something. But in this case, as you're squaring this up, because you show there's no women in sight following the pattern. As you square this up, you're going to, your pinky's going to count one, two, three. Now at this point in time, you're going to, uh, Rub the cards like this against your chest once, twice. On the third time, you're going to kiss the packets. You're going to take these three cards from the left hand to the right hand, and that will be done this fast. This is the same thing as in if you do sleeve aces. Then you blow on the cards. You very slowly bring them down. So that's a, it's a wonderful effect. Uh, I hope you like that. Please like, subscribe, and share. And there's more videos coming your way. Click on the link and see uh, Master Magic University. And, um, also, check out this book, Deck Deception by Ed Marlowe, to get the details on the Casanova card trick. Thanks, and have a magical day. Keep it surreal.